Jews right now if he wanted to. God could destroy us all right now if he wanted to. He could say enough, that's it. I will destroy them all. He could if he wanted to. God has the power. He has the right. But because of his grace, he allows us to live and breathe. To love and to, to know family and to know friendship and to know life. But true life is found in his son. True life is found in his son. The Bible says that if we do not obey Christ, we will not know life. We will not see true life. But the wrath of God abides on us. It abides on us. You see, the Bible says that we are we are dead in sin and trans transgressions. We are dead. We might think, oh, I'm alive today, but spiritually we're so dead. Dead, we can't see. My friend, I look at you because we're all spiritually dead. But we walk away, we ignore, we'll say, just, we'll put it in the back of our minds. We ignore, forget about it. I'll think about it tomorrow or the next day. You're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised the next day. You're not promised next week. You could die today. You could die today. 150,000 people die every day. Two people die every second. People think about it. You could die today and step before God. You could die today. Praise God. Jesus died for you. Jesus is calling out to you. Come. Come. All you are weak and all you have your ladies. Come. And Jesus will give you rest. Rest. Rest for you. You are weak and all you have your ladies. Jesus is found on the cross. Grace is a mercy found on the cross. No one else. Your own righteousness won't cut it. Your own goodness won't cut it. Do you think you're righteous? A man of God. A man of God. A man of God. A man of God. A pastor. A man of God. From Congo. I'm living in Manchester. My church is in Clayton. I'm a messianic church. Messianic. Born again, yes. Born again, Christian. Yeah, yeah. Born again. Praise the Lord for that. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like knowing the Lord, is there? Yes. Have a talk of the day, you want to call it somebody here who got signs on the back and they're going on about telling the, uh, about the gender, gender of children. That the, a little boy could be a girl and uh, whatever, right? I said, uh, that's all against the Lord, I said. All that is, I said, is against the law. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, well, we're just, we're just saying, we're just saying. I said, wouldn't he pay you better, I said, them things you've got on here, I said, because you've got a load of things writing on them. I said, say, God so loved the world that he said he went and gave his one and only son, I said. You'd be better yeah. off doing that, I said, doing the Lord's work, I said, yeah. instead of doing that. Perfect. Anyway, oh, I've got to go, she said, I've got to go. Yeah. I said, aye, okay. What could you do with them? Thank you. Thank you. All right, please. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you too. Think about it. We know the we know the meaning of a, of a of a pen to write something down. We know the meaning of a car to get somewhere. What's the point of life anyway? What's it all about? Is it just come for nothing? Go to nothing? Hope for the best? Is that what it is? Think about it, people. You was made in the image of life. God. No God had a relationship with him. But we don't. We ignore. We, we ignore. We, we choose to live in sin. You know why? You know why? Because we don't want God. Because we don't want to live in God's ways. We don't want to live in God's holiness. We don't want to love like God loves. We'd rather be bitter and unforgiving and hate, hatred and all this. Well, yes. Some of these are like in the Bible, right? When you're casting your pearls to the fire. I've got to listen to you, bro. Yes, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. What's your, what's your name? Chris. Chris is a... Uh, 
mentioned something in the Bible, casting your, your pears towards swine, that's true. The disciples went to a town and was treated really badly. You know, beat up. So, some of them was, was stoned to death, some of them was killed. Some of them was punched and kicked. The followers of Jesus was killed all the way through church history. Killed. And there is a time when us as Christians are to shake the dust off our feet. But today, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week. Today we're here pleading, calling, repent. But you trust in Jesus. You have nothing without him. See, the Bible says that what good is it if a man gains the whole world and yet loses his soul? What good is it? What good is it if you get if you have a million pounds and end up in hell? What good is that? People, come on. Let's wake up. Think about it. What good is it if you have 10 million pounds but you die and go to hell forever? What good is that? What good is it if you have 50 million pounds? Without Jesus, you, it means nothing. Because you know why? The Bible says the world and everything in it is going to fade and perish and die. These buildings one day will crumble. Your money won't last. Everything you put your trust in won't last. You will fade your body. If you're good looking now, yeah? One day you'll, you'll tear up it. You'll go old and wrinkle it. Yeah? For everyone who, who likes to spend a lot of time in how they look, one day you're going to go old and wrinkly and ugly. Your money won't last. Your clothes will fade. One day your house will fall down. One day your car will rust and it won't work. Everything is fading. Everything is dying because of sin. But Jesus come to give us life. There's life in Jesus. There's life in God. Humble yourself today. Humble yourself before Almighty God. Come before Him with weeping. Come before Him humble. Realize today how desperate you are of forgiveness. Don't deceive yourself thinking you're a good person. You are desperate like me. We are desperate for forgiveness. We are desperately in need of mercy from God. We're so desperate we don't realize. God bless you. We do not realize how desperate we are for, for the mercy, grace and love of God. The love of God. Two greatest commandments to love God and love each other. Guess what? We don't do that. We don't love God and we don't love each other. We're so selfish. We're so selfish. What good is money, man? What good is it? What good is it? Hey, can I get you down there, man? Can you probably go spend it. You're probably gonna spend it a lot of being get yourself drunk. Get yourself a good headache in the morning. I've been there. Go spend a lot of drinking drugs, eh? I've been there. It don't work. There's nothing in it, man. You'll wake up in the morning realizing, questioning what you're all about. Please, people, today, we will call and we will ask and we will preach.